If you're thinking about moving to the Reno area, you're gonna wanna hear the top reasons why you shouldn't. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reasons why you shouldn't move to Reno, Nevada. If you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe. And also if you're thinking about moving to the area or relocating, uh, feel free to reach out and I'd be happy to help you. The first con I want to talk about is the weather. The weather here in Reno, Nevada can actually get pretty cold. A lot of people assume that Reno is closely located to Las Vegas, but that isn't the case. We're about eight hours away. During the winter time, the average temperature can be around 53 degrees. And during the colder months, which is in January and February, uh, average temperatures can range from 25 degrees to 45 degrees. And of course, you know, if there is a winter storm, it can get in the teens, but that is rare. Typically, the first snowfall is between November and December. However, there has been times where the first snowfall has occurred during October. You're gonna wanna plan accordingly because when it does snow, it does stick at times, but during, you know, the late mornings, it does turn into slush. However, you know, some people aren't really accustomed to driving in the snow. So just plan accordingly, give yourself enough time and also um, give some leeway to people who aren't originally from here or don't really know how to drive in the snow. Another con is that Reno can get pretty dry. This is a desert. And if you're not accustomed to that, then just be aware that, you know, you're going to have to invest into a good moisturizer. The precipitation levels can get as low as 10. Um, if you're from Hawaii, uh, precipitation levels are about 70. So a big, a big difference. My husband is actually from Hawaii. So when he transitioned over to the Reno area, he definitely needed to use some moisturizer to help combat the dryness. Transportation here in Reno can be somewhat limited. The Regional Transportation Commission is who uh, runs the bus routes here locally in the Reno, Sparks, Sun Valley, and Carson City area. In the urban areas, it can be limited. There is an app called the Move It app, M-O-O-V-I-T app. You're able to plug in your destination and it'll break down which bus routes to use. And if you do need to, you know, take it from foot because there are no bus routes that take you all the way. It also does that for you as well. Let's talk about gambling. Gambling is here in Reno, Nevada. Reno is known as a mini Las Vegas or a smaller Las Vegas due to the gambling and casinos that we have here. If you do struggle with gambling, then maybe Reno is not the place for you. There are hotlines that are 24 seven and 100% confidential if you do struggle with gambling. Uh, gambling is not only limited to casinos, you can also find gambling machines, slot machines in convenience stores and grocery stores as well. Another reason why you shouldn't move to Reno is because of the rent. The rent here is expensive. However, not as expensive if you compare it to Los Angeles. For one bedroom, one bath, you're looking at anywhere between $1,400 to $2,000. And this is all dependent upon location, obviously, and whether or not it's considered luxury. Renters are also faced with um, rent increases. A good way to kind of combat, you know, rent as expensive as it is, is by, you know, getting in with a couple friends or family members to help split costs. This next one kind of hurts a little bit, housing prices. Housing prices have definitely increased. According to the Reno Sparks Association of Realtors, the median house price is $535,000. However, there are homes available in the Reno Sparks area that range between the $300,000 and $400,000 range. Of course, you know, it is limited. However, if your price point increases to say the $400,000s to $500,000s, you're opening up your options a little bit more. The market has definitely slowed in the past six months, not just in Reno, but nationally as well. It's definitely easier to buy now than it was due to higher interest rates and less competition. I understand that affordability 
can be a cause for concern, but if you are able to get into something now, it's not a bad time to do so. Next up is construction. Due to Reno's rapid growth rate, the infrastructure is having a hard time keeping up with that. So to help combat that, there's a lot of construction that goes on, especially during the summertime. This can be seen from the freeways, while you're commuting on the freeways, and even on the side streets. So definitely wanna be aware during the summer times that you know there's going to be construction and this could add some time to your commute. Next is Las Vegas. If you're wanting to move to Reno because you're thinking it's very close to Las Vegas, it's actually not. Uh, Reno is about eight hours drive, depending on how fast or slow you drive um, from Las Vegas. And it's about an hour flight from Reno to Las Vegas. So it's, it's far, but if you are still wanting to move to Reno by flight, it's not too bad. All right, and lastly, gas prices. Gas prices here in Washoe County is about $4.97, depending on the day that you look it up. The national average is $3.75, according to AAA. I drive a 4Runner, so that uh, racks up close to $100 each time I need to fill up. However, if you're thinking about moving to Reno commute-wise, Pretty much anywhere you can get anywhere uh, within 15 to 20 minutes depending on traffic so it's not too bad thanks so much for watching if you enjoy this type of content please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time thanks